I think I might mute the word Lindor. I can't do this all year. He's, you look around the rest of the league at shortstops, and now I'm not saying that this means Lindor is great or living up to his money, but if you look around the rest of the league with everyone else that moved around, the Trevor Stories, the Carlos Correa's, Simeon, Seager, all those guys stink. I, uh, you, you, you'd suck a dick to have Lindor over those guys. He's got like five point something war over the last 162 games. He's on pace to probably hit 30 home runs. He has a low batting average. He'll never live up to $340 million, but so very few people do. And when you think about what that, what, that, what that signing did, that started the Cohen era, it brought in a shortstop, a big name player, a marketable player, it kicked off. Who knows if, like, if Scherzer doesn't want to come play, if we're not signing big guys and bringing in franchise cornerstones and shit like that. It, was almost, it, it re reminds me of when Pedro and Beltran started a new era with the Mania, you know? Like, and then what happened to Beltran? Right, same Every exact fucking, time fucking did thing. Wrong. They did it with Piazza when he was batting 350. They did it with Beltron when he wasn't wasn't you know was didn't hit fifty home runs because like, his brains were scrambled from diving for a ball and hitting my camera. <laughs> that was that, that was, was scary. So that was, <laughs> Lindor, the only reason to to knock Lindor is the contract. When people say I'm not even talking about the contract, yes you are, because you're saying he's not worth the money. Because otherwise, if you took out the money and you just look at shortstops, he's an above average shortstop, actually towards the top of the game. So why then are you criticizing him? Because you think they spent too much money on him. I don't care about that. <laughs> if you care about money, why are you living in New York? Until, until there's a time that Steve Cohen says, we, are, we can't go sign that guy because of Francisco Lindor's contract, I don't fucking care. They paid a premium to land one of those shortstops during that free agency year when there was five golden era shortstops available. They paid a premium. They got him. He will never live up to the money. So very few people do. It's, it's, it's mind-numbing. And I swear to God, if they put all this bad juju in the air and then he gets hurt like he did last year and then do we see how shitty the team is without his defense up the middle and just... Right! That, then I'm going to be like, so fucking mad we're back in that situation. By the yeah. end of last year, he was actually like leading our team in like several offensive statistics. Like several categories, he was still the best player on that team when he had his worst year ever. It is, it's, you know, and the worst, the worst thing of all is that all of these people, deep down, and deep down in places they don't talk about, they're rooting against him when he's up so they can run to Twitter and tweet at me and be like, told you so. You're rooting against your own fucking team and your own, like, franchise cornerstone shortstop just so your Twitter takes are right when you're a fucking nobody. Who cares what your Twitter says? Who cares if you have a cold take? Who cares if you're wrong? You should be rooting for them to prove you wrong, but I know deep down, you're not. That's the saddest thing of all. Don't be afraid to take. Don't be afraid.